If there is anybody who single-handedly made a thrusting impact on local industry in Uganda, the late James Mulana is that person. Throughout his professional life, he was a strong crusader for emancipation and promotion of locally owned enterprises, cajoling Ugandans to embrace the opportunity of doing business in their country, as opposed to waiting for foreign players to prop up the industrial sector. As news of his death spread throughout the nation, the tributes were quick in succession. President Yoweri Museveni on his Twitter account expressed sadness upon hearing news of the death of Murana, saying Uganda has lost a wonderful man. At a private sector foundation media briefing, an entity that the deceased helped found, it became apparent just how much Mulwana meant to the president. There are very few people whom President Museveni would describe as his only friend, and that is public <laughs> information given way back in the 90s. The president said James Mulwana was his only friend in the whole world, not just in Uganda. So I think if the president can describe you as such, who else cannot? It is going to be difficult to imagine business in Uganda without the icon that he was at the heart of the industrialization of Uganda. He's been a pillar and a great inspiration to Atel Uganda and should always be remembered for his dedicated service, leadership, untiring support, an encouragement to the management and staff of the company. He's not only a mentor, actually, to uh, many of us, and I think I should say most of us, but indeed an icon of the private sector <coughs> in this country. The contribution the late James Murana made to the manufacturing industry is well documented, as well as arguably unrivaled. For me, I would be looking at him, you know, that he was almost a gift yes. to this country from God. He has helped the business, business community, he has helped the, even the government, the political issues. James could stand and say, yes, let us do this. He's been a mentor, he's been a father, he's been a, an advisor, and he really wanted the growth, industrial growth for this country. Gordon Wavamuno, a close friend to the late for many years, describes his last meeting with Murana. Talking about his future this year, the trips he's going to make, the improvement he's making on his uh, Jessa farm, nice of plastics and the trips to Europe and that's what he was, we are discussing also, I was discussing my own business with him. We did have a good time on Friday, that Friday on, on 11th. The late Murana was a philanthropist too, giving generously to various causes including the church and the disadvantaged. His compassion has seen him serve as the vice chairman of the SOS Children's Village, a charity organization that takes care of homeless children and orphans. He was also Hospice Uganda's patron, a trustee of Mango Hospital, a board member of Interplast Uganda and St. John's Ambulance. At his ancestral home in Wasiriba, Chivoga district, where a dark cloud hovers now, Rana was revered because of his love for the community. Indeed, he requested that his simplicity in life follow him even after his demise.